today, pushing the state's total to more than 96,000. And today, the governor announced a new operation to build up contact tracing across the state. Part of his strategy to safely reopen Illinois, WGN's Patrick Elwood joins us now. More with that. Joe, Micah, good evening to you. The governor talking at length about that a new initiative to uh, follow the contact tracing, starting out in two counties. More on that in just a little bit. But he's also quick to head already. He is concerned and is expert about a resurgence of COVID come this fall. For business owners who have decided to put people at risk by not following our gradual reopening plan, there are a limited set of warnings and then penalties that can be invoked. Governor J.B. Pritzker on the latest COVID-19 update as the state remains less than two weeks potentially away from entering a third phase of reopening. On other subjects, Pritzker explaining the state's approach to contact tracing for those who have tested positive for COVID-19 and the people subsequently exposed thereafter, possibly, the governor says Illinois now has some of the most advanced protocols in the country. We want to grow our voluntary contact tracing so that we can further control and reduce the rate of spread of COVID-19 and stop outbreaks in their tracks. Not only that, it's arguably our most sustainable tool. And as the legislature prepares to convene later this week, Republicans are pushing for the governor and the Mike Madigan-led Democrats to drop the graduated income tax. But this graduated income tax threat uh, just gives more to worry about uh, when we need people focusing on how they can rebuild their businesses, how they can go back to work, how they can begin uh, rebuilding the economy of this state. When asked about churches ignoring the governor's executive orders on social distancing and other guidelines over the weekend, Pritzker says law enforcement isn't going to stop them, but there are ways to worship responsibly. And he talked about the second wave of COVID that could be coming in the fall. I am deeply concerned about it. It's the reason why we're following this very gradual plan. Uh, but it makes sure that we have the healthcare capacity to deal with any kind of surges. But yeah, if people don't follow the plan uh, or if people don't wear face coverings when they're out in public as directed, um, you know, more people are going to get coronavirus, COVID-19. And, and I'm deeply, I mean, I, honestly, it's what I wake up thinking about, go to bed thinking about. A contact tracing initiative will begin in two counties, one downstate, St. Clair, that's just outside of St. Louis, and then Lake County here. Coming up at 10, there's a new law enforcement tool that they can use to enforce for businesses that are not complying. Whether or not law enforcement will do that remains to be seen. Online.